Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, Chip Walters here with a really exciting tutorial. Uh, I want to talk a little bit today about um, creating this scene in Unity. And uh, the cool thing is we're going from SketchUp, which is a very simple and a freely available program, into Unity, which is also freely available. And the focus is creating a photo real environment. An environment that, as you can see, is rendering at 85 to 100 frames per second on my computer. So uh, I'm excited about this and uh, look forward to uh, spending some time showing you what I've learned over the past couple weeks trying to figure out this workflow. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, well, uh, we're going to talk today a little bit about uh, going from SketchUp to Unity and creating a uh, photorealistic workflow. So here's me opening up SketchUp. Notice I'm working in uh, centimeters. That's my default setup. Uh, actually, I'm going to change it to inches. Uh, actually, change it to meters uh, because our Unity uses as its construct as its unit. It, it uses the fact that uh, one unit equals one meter. So that's important to understand because lighting is uh, affected in real world units. So once I've done that, I've got that one meter. Now I'm changing it back to inches, or I'm actually not inches, feet, because I want to draw this building in feet. So I'll start off drawing basically kind of like a blueprint. You would think of like a uh, looking straight down as a uh, kind of a you know, kind of a blueprint area. So uh, let me group this box first. Yeah. And I'm going to ungroup uh, this little character real quick uh, because I don't want to. I want to basically assign one texture to him in Unity without having to mess with everything. So right now I'm just ungrouping him. So I guess he's a stock character that you can get online. Um, anyway, uh, I, uh, he's all ungrouped. And then we'll call him uh, Robot or Rob the Robot. And let's uh, paste that that floor plan back in. And now I want to extrude that up nine feet. Group that, and once I've grouped it, I'm going to go ahead and set it, uh, scale it a little bit, and then knock a couple rooms uh, off on the side. There's one right there, and there's the other. And so now that the rooms are knocked out, put some hallways in there so we can see what it looks like in a dark hallway uh, when we render. There we are. Okay, now I'll take leave all those, and I'm going to just basically go to the bottom. And trace over all of that. And once I've traced over it all, uh, I can then hide hide the original boxes. And now I just need to offset this to get my wall thickness. Uh, first started at six inches, but I didn't like that, so I went for a foot. And once I get a foot, I'm gonna again. I'm going to go ahead and uh, extrude that wall thickness up nine feet. So I'll delete that into your section. Here we go. Okay, now that's extruded. And now we've got that. We're going to call that the walls. And let's just draw our floor in. Just select each one of these edges. And we'll copy them and paste and group and call that the floor. And I'll extrude that down uh, 12 inches, one foot. And then we'll go to the top and we'll just duplicate that. And we'll call that our ceiling. Okay, so it's really a very simple, simple, but a watertight, watertight object that we've got going on here. So, which is important. So now that we have this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in a couple, a couple kind of openings, like door openings, or think of them as glass openings, or windows, or something like that. And you know, make them about seven feet by six feet. Exactly seven feet by six feet. 
And then we just, all we need to do at that point is just push pull those things through, get them, uh, get them ready. So uh, now that we're done, oh, we're going to add a few more, or, or take these cubes that we already have. Oh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, first let's center this thing, get this thing centered. So, and then we'll, we're going to hide this and we're going to take these cubes that we're, this cube we already have. That's our meter, meter. That's our meter cube. So we know that it's one meter. It's going to scale. It'll be, if we need to use it as a scale item in our, in our thing, we'll be able to do it. This is an interesting little art piece. I'm using the Protrude, Jim Fultz's Protrude plugin. You just sit there and you hit this divide button a few times. It creates a random between 35 and 65%. And then I'm going to create an offset of 0.1 foot height of 0.1 foot to 0.7 so this is just playing around I can say protrude it okay I like that okay but I'm gonna go ahead and punch it back and say nah let's do uh, uh, let's do it over again and basically so uh, we, we got a, we got a little artwork there. that's gonna be good for us to identify whether what kind of what kind of shading we're gonna get uh, I'm gonna take this box and I'll just put them in some different corners because see how they how they work in terms of their lighting. Just scale them randomly in different sizes, and uh, hopefully uh, uh, these can help showing any kind of rendering artifacts that we might have incur incur, uh, incur when we're over at uh, uh, and Unity. So now that we're done, we've got our model. Uh, very simple model. Uh, we need to export it, and when we uh, we'll save the model. I'm gonna call it uh, Funhouse. Okay, and I'm running 2016, and you can see that it doesn't uh, it doesn't actually. I have to export a, a copy of 2015 because Unity won't be able to cannot import a 2016 or later file. 